Hello, hello, I'm Katz and welcome to today's video. We're back, we are back in action. I've returned from my trip. For those of you who weren't aware and didn't watch the end of my last video, I said I was gonna be gone for a couple of weeks because my father had passed and I had to attend the funeral services and prepare for that. Also just spend time with the family as we got through that. But uh, time has been spent. He's a, He had a very, very lovely burial ceremony. He wanted a, a natural uh, burial so it's like an all wood casket and, uh, and he was buried like under some trees in a forest which is really cool so not not cremated or anything like that but it's what he wanted so we made it happen but anyways enough about my personal life we are back in action and we are kicking things off by participating in the boosted summons here in the altar of souls so we do have an awakening boost going on four five star and six star perfect souls from the mortal soul stones and then just the six star perfect souls from the immortal soul stones now i do recall that they did probably two iterations ago it was five star and six star perfect souls for both types so the immortals and the immortal but for this one and the last one it's only been six star for the immortals perhaps it was a bit too strong for the five star not really sure but uh, we'll keep watching this and see if this is going to be the trend going forward and of course your eyes might be drawn to the massive amount of soul stones i do have here and that is no not because i purchased them because i have literally not pulled them for a very very long time at this point it's been many many months of saving up between hydra iron twins events and tournaments that offer these stuff like that in order to generate the stockpile that i have today although i did i think pull some in some hero's path to make that a bit easier on myself but overall you could say that over the past four to five months i haven't really been pulling soul stones that often so we get to do a pretty massive pull session today and the real reason that i'm kind of motivated one it's just been a while since i've done this and i want to get some uh, bang for my buck in terms of the boosted rates but more importantly, it does happen to coincide with a Soulstone chase tournament here in the last wee hours of the night. Basically, my approach to these now is like if they are going to offer the boosted rates, there has to be some coinciding event. It could be a Hero's Path event, could be a Deck of Fate, although that's not my favorite type of event. So I'm probably less likely to participate in those specifically. But probably Hero's Path with a good amount of or good offerings in them, good rewards, legendary tomes, mythical tomes, etc. And then if there is a Soul Chase tournament on top or uh, in place of that, that is also a good offering because pretty much the same thing once the rewards decide to load there is a mythical chaos or up for grabs a couple of legendary tomes stamp pretty standard stuff so i don't really have any interest in going out for the inquisitor Sh uh, shamel souls so i don't expect to get out that far but we're gonna try and see if we can hit some uh, good rng and get all the way out to the 2500 mark my budget for today is going to be at least 200 mortals because we have over 300 so might as well uh, see what we can get from there and hopefully that it will be enough <laughs> or maybe less than that would be enough to get us all the way to 2500 but we do have a handful of immortals to use as well if we do need to do that obviously we're going to get a ton of soul coins along the way so we're going to get more effective immortal soul stone so i could really d uh, dive deeper in that if i so chose but uh, i would say 200 morals is like the bare minimum and then up to five immortals probably would be or could be worth it and then eternals i'm i feel like those are better used when there is a hero's path type event just because you get a ton of points for it and also of course the rates are not boosted for those because that would be kind of busted in fairness but uh yeah so uh, we're probably not going to pull the eternal we're just going to stick with mostly the mortals hopefully and then maybe some immortals if we uh just fall a bit short of some of the good rewards and just for reference i will pop up the latest version of the soulstone summoning calculator where we just have all of the um, increased rates and we have our fresh buttons here that can toggle on the two x's uh, relative to wh whether or not they're active so in this case they're kind of active i might have to adjust this in the future to uh break out the six star perfect soul being not the case for the immortal soul stones on some occasion so i probably will look into that in the future but it's going to be a small change to the math overall but uh, for those who are unfamiliar we just have a breakdown of the average amount of points that you're going to get um, per each of the soul stone types and we have the small sample truncated average which just means it's more applicable to pulling like 30 or 50 or something like that uh, for the mortals and then immortals probably on the order of like 30 maybe is probably where you know a small sample but once you start to get to like the bigger numbers you're pulling hundreds of mortals or something like that like we're going to do, do today you're definitely going to converge more towards the raw odds of getting things just because you're more likely to get something of a greater value when you pull more so nothing new here but just reminding folks that this will be linked in the description box down below if you want to check it out for yourself so you can see if it's a good value for you to spend your soul stones on any given event and 
would like to point out that this is the exact same spreadsheet that also has all the fusion plants in it. So if you are looking for my breakdown of the scored fusion, I'm currently in the process of completing the fusion, but of course I wasn't there when it started. So I'm not going to make a full fusion plan guide video unless you guys want me to, I could do that after the effect, but uh, most of the events have already started. And so it's pretty spur for the course in terms of fusion, but you can check out this tab and kind of see the normal stuff that I break down, the things I'm focusing my energy on, all of the milestones as they come along. So that is also in the spreadsheet linked in the description box down below if you guys want to check it out for yourselves. So who are we looking for today? Let's take a quick look at the wish list. Herndig has been ever present there just because I'd like to get him to at least four stars, get some more crit damage, improve his crushing rend. Ninja has been re-added to the list because he has come back into play in the Iron Twins with the nerf to the boss. So I'd like to get him ideally up to five star, but that's a, that's a leap in terms of the odds. And then Tomb Lord, I'd like to at least get him to three star. That would be nice because I do have Phantom Touch on him for my hard mode fire knight team that would just make it more likely to proc which will be better for trying to push into a hard mode fire knight stage 10. for the epics venax obviously we just want as much crit damage and attack and everything as possible on him as possible just because he's so fun to use with the block revive on the a1 so ideally six star crushing rend um, Inquisitor Shamail, it'd be nice to get his soul. I can't get it from the tournament, but we could get it from the soul stones and that would just be extra damage and survivability in Hydra Clan Boss because he is one of the weakest on my Brutal team. And so it'd be, uh, it would improve his survivability as well as his damage output. And then believe it or not, Tolf, Tolf the Memed is on the list because he is in currently, at least, he's in my uh, Phantom Shogun's team as my uh, Enfeeble tank. And so I want to get him to at least four stars so that he can have more crit damage than my Whisper, who has a ton of crit damage, and thus you can actually properly enfeeble tank and uh, Whisper will not be enfeebled. I haven't done a dedicated video on the Phantom Shogun's Grove since it uh, was nerfed, but let me know if you guys want to see a showcase of my team in the future. The rares haven't changed. Cold Heart, which I don't think I have anything higher than like a three star on her, which would, you know, so I'd like to get that. Judge, use him for Doom Tower Hard Secret Rooms, so it'd be nice to get him, uh, I guess, Phantom Touch as much as possible. And then Hellborn Sprite, I do use her for Amias, so that would just make her take less damage in form two when she is targeted and then as a bonus because you can't put mythicals on the wish list i'd like to mention that we have no <laughs> awakening at all for my star sage galathir so if we just get you know onesie twosie three star whatever for a mythical it would be nice for that to be him so we'll see if we can get that i'd like to get life harvest on him up and running as soon as possible and then if we happen to get a higher tier for gizmak that'd be nice because i do run the arena blessing for the uh, um, HP burn, improved damage, and so that would help him do his job a lot better in the arena, just blowing up stone skin as he does. Mikage Soul I got from the Titan event, so that is why she is currently four star, and I still have the other levels of the uh, souls as well. I guess this is also a sneak preview of the Lady Mikage build on my account. She did win the poll that I asked you guys about which champion guide that you'd like to see next, so stay tuned for that one. We'll be talking about her build and all the areas that she has come into play, and it is a lot of them. So stay tuned for that one. All right, so let's get into the summons. We've got a decent amount of space. We've got some cash and hopefully we can get some pretty decent above average luck. We are looking for the champions from our wish list, but of course we'll take anything extra that we happen to get along the way. The target is 2,500 points, if possible, within 200 mortals. We'll see where we get to, how far and whatnot, before we evaluate going further. 26, not the best of starts, and I guess we did hit the wish list with the one star Inquisitor Shamail. I think he has a one or two star already, so that's not much of a chain so let's keep it going hope we get something a little bit better three star cold heart that is a tie for where she currently is two star cold heart now you're just mocking me listen ya ironic because i don't have the champion because i if i did i would use her for lady mikage number two i've not actually fused her yet the, co the copy that you saw is from a remnant summon i think that was 30 something points we are sitting at 50 50 points in the soul chase not looking so hot maybe we waited too long <laughs> and too long in the evening and the rates are not live just kidding now we we do believe we, we do believe in the non tinfoil hat theories so a couple of legendaries jintoro do not have him blizzard the howler that is a slight improvement or maybe he doesn't have a blessing but uh previous fusion i do use him for like uh curse city seek or not secret rooms curse city stages when he's uh useful for hard mode fire and i think that was 60 something so we're somewhere around 100 ish points at a 2500 one star judge not an upgrade 
One star Orn, also not an upgrade. Two star Ursula the Mourner, one of the best epic revivers in the game, although she's not very auto friendly. But uh, I think I have a higher uh, awakening level on her as well. Not much else. 33, so we're at 130. We're kind of keeping the math here simplified as much as possible but uh well i hope i'm keeping somewhat of a decent track so yeah we're not uh, seeing any five star or six star anything so far 50 points there 180 towards that unfortunately for me i have a six star i mean i guess it's fortunate i don't know however you want to look at it but i already have a six star for rian the conjurer the doom tower epic and so four star is going to be sold because i don't need uh, well you can't even get a second copy of her because she's a doom tower champion so not much value in that one there's our first five star the rates are on only took 50 something soul stones to get out there but uh, unfortunately it's a five star rare one star al's gore i think i already have a copy copy of that particular soul but i don't even have the champion so let's make some space and we'll get right back into the mix all right space has been created and i checked in on the tournament we have a whopping 280 points we are 10 percent of the way there so we're gonna need a lot more good rng here in the second set i think 60 is how many we're doing that's how much room we have so hopefully we can get our luck to turn around here cornelia very strong champion but i do have higher than two star on her already i believe i'll have to check that card in the blue i already have a four star on him phantom touch for hard mode uh, fire knight so that is going to be sold as well couple more from the wish list that is a double judge unfortunate hellborn sprite i think she already has two star not an upgrade two star yannicka i think that is a improvement i think she currently has a one star so we'll take that was that 40 something points i think 40 something so we're 320 five star epic nice that is good for the points not really yet. well you know what that is useful that is actually useful i take it back because i think i use him or i plan to use him in one of the curse city stages 300 and Ooh, okay 322 points oh five star and hot freeze as well didn't even notice that one so two five star epics that's very very good that's much better so somewhere around 500 ish points now give or take uh that's solid hot freeze use him not i used to use him in faction wars but now he's pretty much cursed city support if needed so that's just more stats and maybe a good blessing fenex i think he's already at two star but if not he's at one so that might be extra attack on him which is hey it's a start progress and uh versal the grim there don't use him maybe curse city uh for the provoke that he has but uh, not the most useful champion to get there Next set here, Hexweaver, three star, not really gonna do it. Wish list, once again, one star. Come on, man, what are these rares? These rares just do not, like, honestly, most of the rares that I use, they, they literally are all like three star or, or lower. I think like Kale has like a six star. I, I did manage to get that one. Five star, rare, I totally missed the number. Was it 100, 30, 50? I don't know, we'll check. We'll check after the, uh, the next set in the uh, soul chase but i think there was a six star channeler i don't even know what that guy does so he's not really gonna be the one that we use scrank hey we'll take that two stars for him two star for herndig that's already where he is unfortunate one star fenax once again not that exciting 80 points from that set i honestly don't know where we are i want to say like 600 ish somewhere around there five star life taker not really gonna be that exciting couple more one star epics nothing amazing there next set here mythical it is commodus okay mythical again it in is gallius okay not the ones we're looking for five star conqueror we'll take it for the points one star mithralo that is a slap in the face because i do have the five star of course that we got from the titan event so we definitely don't need that 130 something so we're somewhere around eight ish hundred points give or take math is falling apart here folks falling apart i missed one tab of uh, or one uh, instance of points and i'm just kind of lost here but like again we'll check a little bit later three star rare we don't need four star venomage that is actually very good it's not a lot of points but that is good because she is the target typically against amias and she's very very crucial to one of those uh, rotations maybe two of those rotations so that will help her be a lot more survivable i think she currently has three star so it's a little bit more hp and then just less uh defense being ignored so we'll make some space real quick and see what the next set has to offer all right more space has been made and we checked in once again on the soul chase tournament and we are at a whopping 1000 points so much much better than the first set finally the rates were turned on and we started to see a lot more of the five star champions but let's keep it going 120 soul stones so far so this should be another bout of 60 and then we'll just kind of see how we do and get 
get to closer to that 200 total pulls. So next we have three star Skrank and we'll take that. It's an upgrade to uh, do Skrank. I, I will mention here that uh, for those who don't know, I did post about it on my community tab. Oh, well, one star Allahs don't have him. Don't have many of the mythicals for the souls of which that I have for. Um, but uh, I did actually manage to get Skrank during two X voids and he's been on my wish list for a very, very long time. So I'll be excited to test him out in certain areas where I can use an HP burn, obviously, and get a little bit more damage. Five star Renegade, we'll take that. That is an upgrade. Two star on the cold heart. Man, we just keep getting two stars. But uh, yeah, excited to see what he can do. And I guess three star means he does get the attack and he also gets a little bit of defense, a little bit more survivability. I don't even think he's built yet. I haven't built him. He's in the queue though for uh, being uh, six star. So we'll see what uh, that will yield in the near term. I think he's going to be not next, but he's probably like second or third. Here we six star. It's good for the points. Five star epic, also good for the points. One star duchess, don't have her. Well, two star Emic, I do have him, but I don't currently use him. 274, solid. So we're probably somewhere around 1400 ish points in the uh, Soul Chase. Two star Archbishop Pinthroy, that's an upgrade to the one star that he currently has. So an extra attack. He's not built for damage, but hey, we'll take it. A little bit of a boost towards, uh, I think it, I think it's Lightning Cage because he's a mischief tank. So one star Duchess, not really going to help us. We do not have a Duchess on my account, but we'll take it. Good for the points. Come on, five star. We want to see you. Oh no, this is okay. I was like, oh no, this is all one stars. Four star on the Vagabond. Two star on the Tolf. I think that is currently where he is. So that is not an upgrade. Three star on the A Tour. Useless. Epic Champion and another one star Hellborn. Come on, where's the five star Hellborn Sprite? Is that too much to ask for? Hey, five star Judge. Okay, we'll take that. I will probably need to go tweak my rare wish list because that is substantial. Ooh, one star duplicate Gizmak. Unfortunate. If only that was a little bit higher, that would have been nice. But uh, okay, let me go change the rare wish list because I definitely don't want a duplicate of uh, of Judge here. And uh, we'll, we'll be right back. Okay, so we made a quick swap to the rares on the wish list. Judge is out and we put Berserker in. Another rare that I use for Doom Tower Hard Secret Room. So a little bit more powerful Phantom Touch on him would be nice to have. So quick swap there. We already made some space because we are prepared for the last 30 Mortal Soul Stones to round out the 200. And checking in on the Soul Chase, we're at a whopping 1500. So we're way off from maxing out, but we'll see what the next 30 holds and then kind of contemplate what to do for the remainder because we do have a pretty decent amount of immortal soul stones already, plus the stack here from the soul coins. And whoa, boy, we have done it. Five star on the Fenax. That is exactly what we want to see. 200 points there as well. So 1700 in the chase. Massive. So we're gonna have to change the wish list once again, but one off of the uh, six star crushing rend, but we will take five star crushing rend on Fenax. That is awesome. I'll keep you guys around for this one because this is pretty major. I do already have mine plus two empowered for those curious, but uh, that is a massive boost to his stats. Tons of crit damage. And then I think whatever, I actually don't know. What is the full or the five star effect of Crushing Rend? Is it the first two hits? And then you get 1% ignore defense for every 25 levels. So enemy champions in the arena are 60. So I only get 2% but it's for the first two hits, which means that basically for both of his hits on the A1, we're gonna get more ignore defense, which is pretty substantial. So we will definitely take that. And uh, let me think about who to put in his place. All right, so we're gonna go back to the tried and true option of Husk for Hydra. I think he's currently at three star. We'd love to see that at four or even five star. Well, I, let's aim higher, six star. Six star crushing rend, of course, would be amazing on him. So let's see what we can do. We have 20 more mortals to go, I believe, because that was on the first 10 pop out of the 30. I think we're at 1700-ish points or somewhere around there, give or take. Two star Arbeus, not really going to be doing it. Don't have that mythical champion. Three star Urticata, not it. Virgis, X Weaver, two star Godseeker and Neri will take that. Two star Androk, no uh, Galathir, which is really, really unfortunate. Kind of just, you know, we, we see mythicals every once in a while, and I'm just kind of hoping that we get lucky that. Even again, if it's a one star, two star, I'll most certainly take it. Whoa, five star Yumiko. Okay, well, she's already on the top of my Void Legendary wish list, and now she's above the top? Is that even possible? Don't actually know. 500 points in the Soul Chase. I think that is the last 
of the pops here let me double yeah so we did two more awesome that is spectacular for points obviously i do not have yumiko but uh if we ever get her whoo -hoo, five star temporal chains dare i say that's gonna or, uh, yeah five star temporal chains that's gonna be very very powerful so uh, yeah she's above the void legendary wish list now <laughs> definitely want to see her on the account so here we are in the soul chase tournament that yumiko soul coming in clutch in terms of points so 2400 ish on the points so we are most certainly in contention for the legendary tone we just need 104 points so we are definitely going to dip into some immortal soul stone so let's head over or head back to the altar so we our budget is up to five ideally we can get 100 points in five immortals i would I, maybe we could just do it in one we'll see but uh you know higher chance for only the six star perfect souls we're not getting too excited here just because if you don't get the luck for a six star then you're probably not you know you're gonna get three stars and whatnot so let's not get overhyped here but we should be able to easily fingers crossed get 104 points so up to five immortals is what i'm willing to spend epic three star 12 points excellent start automatic sell so still basically 100 points to go immortal number two it's a rare we don't want to see rares oof the worst possible thing three star rare three points come on Let's get something a little bit better. Maybe epic four star. Hey, that is actually good. Four star Neldor Soul. We'll take that. Only 30 points. So we're somewhere needing around 50-ish. But that is a massive amount of phantom touch for him. So he's going to come in handy for uh, maybe hard known Fire Knight variations if I decide to use him on the team or anything in the Cursed City. So we'll most certainly take that. That is actually very useful. Three mortals hold two to go 50 ish points to go can we get another four star epic i'm not that greedy you know four star epic five star epic would basically do it four star epic again captain tamila i think she's an okay healer but i've never actually used her on my account nothing too exciting the last one but obviously we can go a little bit further because we are so so close another four star epic and we'd be home no 12 i think that uh, we might kind of be there it's kind of hard to say honestly it's gonna be very very close it might not be fully updated yet either but it's gonna be like it's gonna be like 2480 2490 somewhere around there super super close it may not be fully updated whenever it's said yeah 2483 so we need 17 points now that's probably not worth doing another uh, immortal i mean it could be three but i don't think it's worth it 17 we can most certainly get from a 10 pop of mortals unless we get horrendous rng so we're gonna swap back we pulled five immortal soul stones i'm happy with that we have a bunch of mortals in uh, in excess here so we'll go over 210 just to get that second legendary legendary tome max out the events and call it a day here couple of rare souls two stars nothing exciting two star berserkers i think is slight no i think that's exactly where he is so not much of an upgrade but that's fine 10 pop of mortals not much to say about it we already got our good rng overall and we'll take it we maxed it out for the first time ever and probably the first time in a long time from now we maxed out the soul chase tournament so 2500 points and then a little bit extra in the soul chase so yeah just save up your soul stones for you know three to four months and you can do this too hashtag free to play but uh, let's see is there are we in contention for anything no people went ham on this one okay they're all like 3000 plus to get gems so unfortunate but we'll take all of these amazing juicy rewards i do wish that there was a mythical tome up for grabs i'd probably trade like the chaos or for a mythical tome that'd be kind of nice but two legendary tomes hey more in the bank for developing champions in my account and then we do need the energy because we're going to be doing some uh, champion training all right so that is going to do it for today's summoning session for the soul stone boosted rates alter souls whatever you want to call this event and fenax five stars most certainly the highlight from today's session although honorable mention to the five star yumiko because if i do ever get her that will be very very advantageous but uh for anyone who's curious we can take a quick look at our fenax with his boosted stats here he was already two star before so his attack remains the same 
but we get a little bit of defense, which uh, I guess puts him in a reasonable range now, above 2,000. But uh, crit damage, massive boost of 30 there, so 255 now in the crit damage. He is in a lethal set, 5.8 AK on the attack, and we get a lot of boost to uh, accuracy and resistance. So because I was trying to make him be capable of doing not necessarily cursed city level accuracy, but like dungeon level accuracy, specifically for when you get those like epics only tournaments or faction specific tournaments, I might have to go back and re build him a little bit because he doesn't need 300 i was putting him i guess this minus 325 minus 60 somewhere around there so 250 ish is what i was aiming for so i might have to tweak his build a little bit to reduce the accuracy back down to uh, where it was before and uh crank up the damage if possible so we'll see what that holds in the future but uh yeah uh, you know i'm not gonna chase the six star crushing rend I don't think it's worth buying it in the store just because he is an amazing champion, but he's not one of my primary. He's more of a filler nuker that I kind of throw in, so he's not in my best lethal gear by any means. But nonetheless, exciting that now both hits will ignore extra defense on the A1 when we put down the Monkey Kings and other such champions in the game. So that is going to do it for today's video. So let me know in the comments section down below if you guys were pulling for this Souls Chase tournament with the boosted rates. And of course, let me know what you were able to get from your summons if it's anything amazing as i mentioned at the beginning i am back so do expect my regular cadence of videos to return to normal as i get back into the swing of things as always if you did enjoy the video then be sure to hit that like button down below it really does help out the channel if you do and while you're down there might as well subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying the content thanks for watching and have a good one